Hello to Darkness344 here, and in today's video I'll be showing off this paging concept to kind of um, uh, reduce the, yeah, in, well, increase the density of your memory. So over here we have 8 bytes of uh, registers, and the, this is the design that I showed off a few videos ago, and it's, it's fairly fast read and write access times. So And over here we have 64 bytes of uh, slower memory, uh, which is a serial design that I showed off as well. So this is slightly modified from the original one that I showed off with that, that one over there, which was the display one. And I've slightly modified it just to make it a tiny bit faster, as well as a, a block smaller. And uh, of course there are much better designs out there. Um, I've seen one on the Chungus 2 that was a, a fantastic design with right back. Um, However, this design really just didn't need to be that complex. It's, it's just a simple design because it's only really a concept. So first of all, what is uh, memory paging? So we basically have um, a, our smaller set of registers, you could say, uh, or our RAM even, and we have a, a larger main memory uh, or a disk, you could say. So we can basically um, access these ones very fast However, we only have a small amount of them. We only have eight bytes. Eight bytes is not much. Um, in the past, I've, I've kind of said, well, yes, eight bytes is fine. But um, if, if you're writing a large program for your computer, it, it's not much for RAM or, or even just registers. And you'll need a lot more than this anyway. So what we can do is combine our smaller memory with a larger memory like this one over here which can store a lot more data however has a lot slower uh, access times so it, it takes longer to read and longer to write so on its own we can't really use this that well because if we were say just using this as registers or as RAM it would be very slow uh, making a bottleneck in our computer which would just slow down our entire computer and this would not be good at all so paging allows us to combine it with um, faster memory to basically speed it up and the way this works is we break it down into blocks or pages you could call them and uh, these are a, a predefined size um, and what happens is we um, instead of working with the whole memory at once or just a tiny part of the memory at once instead of working at bits or bytes we can work within a page which could be a collection of, of cells so instead of working at um, one byte at a time um, this design anyway uses uh, each page has eight bytes so and of course we have eight pages meaning we have 64 bytes in total since we have 64 bytes we, we break it down into eight bytes and there's a slight problem with that because we can't actually uh, address each individual bytes uh, individually because we're addressing all by eight bytes at once as a page however since we have our uh, set of registers or a RAM over here we can actually fetch all eight bytes at once in one large block so we, we're basically fetching the page and we save it to our RAM or registers and that means we can uh, address each byte individually uh, through these registers and that basically means we have a much more faster way of writing to and reading these um, this memory that we uh, fetched from the large block and of course when we change the page so say we were originally um, manipulating the data in page 0 and when we change the page to page 1 all the data that was stored in uh, our registers would be saved back to page 0 and all the data in page 1 would be fetched and would be written to these registers and then we can now manipulate the data that's in page 1 so I kind of hope that explanation kind of makes sense. It, we're, we're basically breaking our larger memory down into smaller blocks and then addressing each block individually. So um, we get much faster times, uh, access times to it instead of just addressing um, the larger memory and just making it a bit slower. That also means that we can break our address down into two parts, uh, one for the larger memory or what the current page is, is on and one for the smaller memory uh, and that's the individual bytes in that page. This demo over here, I have um, each page has eight bytes in, 
and I have eight of them, meaning we have 64 bytes in total. And um, of course, um, our registers or RAM can address uh, each byte individually. And of course, well, we'll address eight bytes because that's the size of our page. So let's actually give this a go. I think we are on page zero. Yes, we are. So we can um, write data to it and read data from it. So let's just read cell zero. So if we just click this line over here, as you can see, the number 11000000 is in um, cell zero. Uh, actually, I, I read that backwards because normally in vertical, vertical computers, um, the least significant bit is the one at the bottom and the most significant bit is at the top. But that, that really doesn't matter at the moment because um, because it's memory, you can store it either way. So I'm just going to read from the top as um, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. So, of course, we have this number in cell 0 at the moment. And we can, of course, uh, write a different number or read a different cell. So let's uh, read cell 1. And there's nothing in that cell. Uh, maybe we'll just write something into it. Uh, let's just write a random number in. And I'm just going to use this for the sake of simplicity uh, just because it makes it a bit easier what what you'd really do is go around and click the right button over here but um, this this that was just an easier way of doing it so now we have this number saved in cell one of course if we go back to cell zero we have that so this is all in page zero at the moment so it'll be in this page over here however say we want to swap to a different page well, we can just input that into this over here. So let's swap to page one. And basically the uh, memory, uh, all, all the uh, data that was stored in these registers would be serialized. Um, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. Sent down these lines as serial data and then put back into um, the page zero. And as you can see, the data's already there. Uh, we can't exactly see it that well because of the memory design but the data is there and then what would happen is page one would be fetched so all the data from page one would be um, uh, go along these lines in a serial turned back into its original uh, each individual byte and now we can address each cell individually so if we just read from cell zero we get the number zero zero one one uh, zero 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 and of course, we can write different values to that and stuff. But um, I want to actually go back and access the original data from um, cell zero. So what we can do is swap the page back to zero. And it does take a bit of time sometimes. And then we can just um, uh, read the data again. So as you can see, the numbers that we originally put in are back in this one. And that just means it works pretty much. So now the, the way this... Um, well, where this would really shine is um, if you were accessing these um, these registers very fast, but um, you only had um, small amounts of data in them. So may maybe in the in page zero, you'd have a certain set of values that were all for the same kind of program or same process in that program, and then in page one, you had a set of values that were for a different um, process within that program. Since you're not really swapping, uh, well, you, you basically want to minimize the time, uh, well, minimize the amount that you swap between pages because that's very slow uh, and instead just work within a page at once. The way this can be optimized is just by making the pages larger. However, that also makes it slower. So you have to find a, a balance between the, the size of your page and um, uh, yeah, your your program. Of course, uh, we can access these cells very fast because they're under fast memory. But then whenever we want to access a value that's not within these eight bytes of fast memory, we have to swap the page to the one where it is, uh, which does take a lot of time. So your CPU might waste extra clock cycles swapping to that page, but then we can um, work within that page. So it, it's just a way of speeding up memory slightly because instead of just accessing each individual um, cell, uh, we can access a whole block of cells at once, and that'll just make it a bit faster and, and work within that block, basically. So real um, CPUs, real real life components actually use the same method 
and what will happen is your your CPU will uh, fetch a, a massive block of data or well a page in that case from RAM and it will um, go into your CPU's cache um, the same could be said from the CPU accessing a large block of data from uh, your hard drive or your SSD, your main primary storage, and then putting that block of data into RAM. But yeah, that, that's basically just paging. Um, if, if there's any better videos, I'll try link them. Yeah, please feel free to comment some better videos. Yeah, there'll, there'll basically be a world download of this in the description if you want to play around with it. And I, if I ever do a computer series, I might even include a similar design because it's just a useful way of having a large amount of memory in, and accessing it quite fast. So yeah, I uh, hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe and I'm out.